For part B, we can obtain the VSWR value by calculating it using the result from part A. But we're asked to use the Smith chart. And in an exam, if you're asked to use the Smith chart, you'll have to show your work on the Smith chart. So let's do it on the Smith chart. Here is our ZL plotted from earlier. And this distance from the center of the Smith chart, that also corresponded to the magnitude of the reflection coefficient, what we can do is there's going to be a circle of constant reflection coefficient magnitude around the center of the Smith chart. And where that circle crosses the horizontal axis on the right side of the center of the Smith chart, that's where you can read off the S value, the VSWR value. So if you read off the value, you have to tilt your head sideways to see the numbers here for the corresponding to the circles but you should read off S is equal to 2.7.